Hey everybody, it's Jim from Slick Audio, uh, live on YouTube. YouTube Live, yeah. Little Blue Oyster Cult there. Little Blue Oyster Cult there. This is weird doing this in a picture, you know. Little Slick Audio there. Little Toto over here. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm answering, uh, making a video, live video uh, on uh, backup versus raid. Um, and this is actually the answer to a question on a post from the Guitar Answer Guy. Um, yesterday. So, um, guitar answer guy, here's, here's your answer. So, uh, he, he asked, would love to hear a little more about backup, uh, e.g. Uh, raid versus external drives. Uh, also interested what kind of, and how many internal hard drives someone should have for audio production. Uh, if say I use a lot of plugins, sample libraries, etc. All right. So let's handle, how about if we handle that part of the question first? So, um, it, it, how many drives should you have in your, in your system? Three. That's, uh, that's basically the rule of thumb is three, one for your OS, um, and, uh, program, and then one for your samples, uh, specifically, and then a third for where the audio is going to go. The first two should be SSD. And as far as the audio drives concerned, of course it could be SSD, but a regular 7,200 RPM drive would work fine for your audio recording drive. Um, that's not a bottleneck area, uh, but reading samples is. Obviously, you want to get those samples off the, the disc as quickly as possible. Always the bottleneck when, when playing samples. Um, so it just is just a bottleneck. So that, that's your answer. Three is the magic um, magic number. Uh, you know, if you want to do more, you certainly can do more, but it's still going to boil down to uh, OS program you know, on one platter um, or set of platters. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm, this is old school, man. Platters, hard drive, uh, SSD, and then samples on another SSD. And then, of course, uh, whatever else you do. Um, all right. So that question hopefully answered. So that, that, by the way, if you do use a lot of plugins, a lot of samples, you're fine. If you don't use sample libraries and you're not a VI, uh, you know, VSTI, VI, virtual instrument, uh, kind of person and you're only using plugins, then that that second SSD doesn't really mean all hill of beans. Um, then you could get away with uh, with two drives. Um, so not a big deal. So uh, let's talk about the backup thing, RAID versus mm -hmm. external drive. So first of all, whether you're using RAID or not, you should still back up your system. So uh, that's uh, number one rule of thumb. It's your data, right? Data is no different than we have data in the corporate world. Um, and, um, you know, it, it's whether it's hospitals, surgery centers, uh, insurance companies, what have you, customers of ours, um, manufacturing, uh, that data is, is king. It is the company. Um, you know, uh, it, it, it's if, if you lose your data, you, you don't know who, who owes you money, who who uh, who you owe money to, uh, who your customers are, what you what you've been talking about, what they ordered, what you have to give them yet. So think about it from that standpoint, right? You know, there were, you know, Mrs. Jones needs surgery and, and you don't know what you're going to operate on. I mean, you know, that's, so I'd say data is pretty critical. Uh, it is, the, it is the company at this point. Um, yes, you need the talent and of course to do the job, but uh, you can't have one, you can't have one without the other period. So your audio is no different. Uh, whether you're doing audio for yourself, obviously you're going to disappoint yourself. If you lose your your tracks, and if you're doing audio for somebody else, it is your professional obligation to make sure that you have a backup of that da data in case your system slash whatever goes to shit, and then you know you need to to produce uh, backup. So backup the stuff regardless, um, and an external USB drive is is okay for that. Um, not perfect. Uh, a server and then backing that up to the cloud is better or even just backing it up to the cloud from that machine uh, is uh, is better. So um, they're the two best options, if you will. I'm using the term better, better than the USB drive. External USB drives tend to fail a lot. They're, uh, they're cheap, they're made cheap, and um, it just is what it is. So better than nothing, I'd rather, you know, rather see you do that than do nothing. Now, RAID versus non-RAID. Um, you know, in prior to the advent of SSDs, RAID was key. Um, you, you got the read speeds, uh, you know, from double the performance of a single drive. Uh, although write speeds were were half 
you know, on the OS drive and on the sample drive that we just talked about a little bit ago. It's why I want to discuss that first. Um, we don't care about write. We care about read. So you had double the read speed. So if you were, you were running RAID 1, RAID 1. And again, on the, as I'd mentioned before, as far as the audio drives are concerned, uh, you can do RAID 1 without a problem because their, their speed isn't really an issue recording. Um, you could record to 5,400 RPM drives. I choose not to. I think 72 is is where you should be at. And of course, and if you're using RAID 1 on that, which I happen to, to be doing on my own system, um, you know, the, the beauty of RAID on the system is is you're not going, you're not going to get down. Um, I'm not saying it's impossible, but you know, lightning strikes, blows your machine up, you're going to be down. Chances are you may not be there alive to, to even do the next track anyway, so it wouldn't matter. Um, and all nasty joking aside, um, you know, Ra RAID gives you the benefit of the read speeds, uh, obviously across the board, RAID 1, I'm talking about uh, RAID 5, um, it, it, it's that's pointless to, to put in a, an audio box, just just pointless. So uh, RAID 1, we should we should be talking about no RAID or RAID 1. Um, and uh, RAID 1 gives you that redundancy. So you do get twice the read speeds, but you get half the write speeds. Um, so, uh, you know, in an SSD world, um, you're not really going to get twice the read speeds because the bus just isn't capable of delivering uh, that, that kind of performance. But um, nonetheless, you know, you have the redundancy there. In case one of the drives does fail, um, you just keep on working and get a new drive and replace it. So uh, that's that's I do that because I don't want to. I just don't want to be down ever. So uh, so RAID is going to give you redundancy. It's not a cons it should not be considered a backup medium. Yes, it, it can be, you know, in that savior, you don't want to go down. But think of it as just a redundancy issue. It's not a backup medium and then backup medium. USB drive, it, I'm going to call that worst case scenario, but it's better than nothing. Uh, back up your freaking data um, or use a program like uh, um, Paragon or uh, or Acronis uh, True Image and, and take, you know, snapshot, you know, backups routinely of, of the entire machine so you can restore the entire machine. Um, and then in a perfect world scenario, uh, you'd be uh, running uh, like uh, our, our Eagle Nest product from Slick Cyber Systems, which is a cloud backup uh, solution. And, and then, you know, you can capture the whole box, just the data or, or you know, the, the entire box, uh, if you will, from a disaster standpoint. And now that whole image and, and the data resides up in the cloud. And um, and that way, uh, the cloud, the internet, all right, it's a bunch of servers on the internet. So that's the cloud uh, tech or non-tech folks, tech folks and non-tech folks. So anyways, um, that should uh, about cover everything on that set of questions. I hope it's our answer guy. So uh, thank you very much for asking the question. And um, you're welcome to visit us anytime online at www.slick.audio. Uh, or you can go right to the store, store.slick.audio, if you're ready to buy something. If you have questions about RAID and don't know how to configure it uh, online, but all stretch of the imagination call us 570-371-5800 um we are going to be at winter nam uh this year so uh as i've got my vp of sales holding up the sign saying hey winter nam uh, booth number 14019 so 14019 is our booth number we are going to be in the new section hallelujah and we're going to be against the wall we have this nice big i don't know 15 18 foot 20 foot wide thing i don't know it's pretty it'll be pretty cool 20 foot wide i think it is is it chris 20 foot wide 20 feet wide i don't know what the hell we're gonna do for 20 feet maybe we'll play some ping pong a little tennis a little soccer a little we know how much we love soccer yeah not at all <laughs> all right how about hockey yeah uh, that's that's more my style but um anyways come visit us now yeah, you know could stop by say hello yell at us whatever you want to do um, you know, I'll be glad to take challenge. You have any questions, any issues you want me to, to uh, address by any stretch, uh, uh, give us, uh, you know, put it down and, and I'll address them. Talk to you a bit. Cheers. <laughs>